Welcome to BTF News. I'm your news anchor Ian Dunn, and as you can tell by my suit and tie, I mean business, and from my blonde hair, you can tell I'm very sophisticated, obviously. And I'm your other host, Anthony Riveron. I'm just a news anchor. We have some very exciting things that are happening at Loganville High School. They're very exciting, so I'm excited to get into the excitement. Aren't you excited, Anthony? Yes, excitement. First, we have our LHS cross country team has recently participated in regionals and state meets. The boys team consisting of Harris Price, Miles Berg, Tyler Boyd, Landon Hayes, Luke Wallace, Blake Aurig, and Nathan Ortega placed 15 overall with an impressive team average of 17.42 for the 5K course. The boys improved by a full minute, which was faster than average than the last season's team. The girls team, led by regional champions Camden Bird, along with Sophia Price, Alden Barrett, Sarah Mann, McKinley Steele, Leia Stewart, and Aubrey Roberts, placed 13th overall. The girls team average was 20.38, which is a full two and a half minutes faster than last year's state meet time. Our Loganville baseball team was just highlighted at the last home football game and received their rings. In the past 15 years, we have been runner-up twice and this won state champs seven times. Congratulations again to the baseball team. Don't they color their hair prior to a state championship playoff? I feel like I would fit right in and be taken into the rubber room. In other news, Campbell Acker and Katie Beth Bowling sat down with the band to test their knowledge. We're here with Jade Stonewall, Rachel Bowie. We're going to be doing student section and band trivia. Question number one. When do we use the push-up board? When we score? Good job! That's right! So your second question. What theme do the students most dress up for at the football games? Why do No. USA. Last question. Who are the student section leaders? <laughs> Wait. Is one of them Miles? No. no that's but a that's good close. Guess. That's a good guess. I don't know her name. Paige, Paige and Miller. Miller. Oh. Question one. How many people are in our band? 152. Oh. <laughs> um, 135. Question two. What is our biggest section? Woodwinds. Technically, it's our color guard, but they're not really an instrument. But our biggest instrument is trumpets. Who is our most annoying section? The cymbals. <laughs> the clarinets. Offended, but oh. no. <laughs> the trumpets. Oh, so the biggest and most annoying. Yeah. Oh. And one last question. Can y'all teach us how to direct the fight song? Yes. <laughs> Well, the student section really appreciates your energy and what all you bring to the school. LHS Competition Cheerleaders hosted Fear to Cheer. Teams from all around Georgia compete with a two and a half minute routine. Hey guys, it's Dawn Burton. And Lini Spaghetto. And welcome to our setup for Fear to Cheer. <laughs> LHS hosts the Red Cross Blood Drive each semester. This is an opportunity for our students and staff to help save lives across the country. Blood donation is vital to our health care. You never know who might need a blood transfusion. It could be you, it could be a friend, or a family member. Just one pint of blood donated saves three lives. So many of our students selflessly give their time 
to donate or volunteer for this amazing cause. Another reason why you should be proud to be a Red Devil. Well, that's it for BTF News. I'm Ian Dunn, and as they say during Thanksgiving, gobble gobble. We leave you with a quick beatbox intermission. <laughs> I'm Daniel Aiken Laddie, and this is. I'm Tyler Ferguson. And we're asking LHS staff and students who they trust to make their Thanksgiving dinner. I'm here with. Delana. Alright, so who out of the LHS staff you'd let make your Thanksgiving meal? Miss Crow, because she's the most well organized person I know. I understand that. That makes sense. Thank you. So I'm here with. Angie, Nurse Angie. Alright, so out of the Loganville staff, who would you trust to cook your Thanksgiving meal? Mama Kia! I trust her too. Hey, I'm here with? Dexter. Okay, Dexter. Out of all the staff here at LHS, who would you pick to cook your Thanksgiving meal? Probably Miss Q. Why do you say that? She looks like, she looks like she's a good cook. Okay. And I'm here with? John Hendricks. Okay, John. Out of all the staff here at LHS, who would you pick to cook your Thanksgiving meal? Miss Kia go a cafeteria. Why do you say that? I see like she's cook down home cooking. Okay, thank you. You're Today I'm here with Miss McMillan. Okay, Miss McMillan. Out of all the staff here at LHS, who would you choose to cook your Thanksgiving meal and why? I'd have to go with Mr. Ponder, our amazing custodian, because he is a top-notch man of the grill. Hello, I'm here with Coach Luther. Chadwick Luther. Log into the night yet. Go out to the night yet. Chadwick Luther, welcome to Loganville. Thanks. Loganville High School. Yep, that's where I'm at. Georgia Pacific. Yeah? You used to work for Georgia Pacific. No, I didn't used to work for Georgia Pacific. No? No, I was a poster child for them, though. Poster child for Georgia Pacific? I was. That's right. Yep, I was. It's very interesting. Uh, I hear you do a mean Kermit the Frog impression. Uh, I mean, it ain't bad. Can we hear it? Um, well, I really, I really don't know if it's the best, but I think it works just fine. We have a gift for you, Coach Luther. A frog! Because oh, you, you like Kermit the Frog. I do. He's my guy. Coach Luther, I feel the need. The need for speed? Top Gun! You like Top Gun? I do like Top Gun. <laughs> and as always, Coach Luther... Keep rocking in the free world and doot doot a loot doot doot doot. Log into the night yet. Welcome to Silent Deers, where we're going to get a couple contestants to spin the wheel and do some deers to some students in the library. Let's get to it. A black, um, Guess who's not getting extra credit? Right, looks like you. Uh, Miss Hobbs told me to do it over. What's your name? Alana. All right, go to that table over there real quick for me. The cookie table? Yeah, go over there. There you go. There you go. It's free cookies. There you go. This is for our appreciation. There you go. Wow. Man, Chloe is the laziest person in our group. She doesn't do nothing. She sits there in that stupid chair, and if we want to go film, she's never a part of it. And then she complains all the time whenever our grade goes bad. And then she tries to stand up and say, oh, I did this. When she did absolutely nothing, and it's me and CJ carrying that group on our back. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like Amaya, she really pulled away, but she just do too much. She do too much. That's about it. 
The only reason why I'm a control freak is because they don't do anything else. So somebody has to contain has to take control. Like they don't do anything. So yeah. I could care less, it's true. I don't know, I don't really care. Okay. How did y'all manage to drop the ball and only have one segment out of the entire season out? Okay, actually we had two. <laughs> um Everybody has like different ways they do their group or whatever. Like y'all, everybody has their own segment ideas. Like, but she leaves her group originally and then joins our group. And then we make one bad segment. We drop the ball a little bit. She leaves, says it was out of pettiness, and joins some other group. And then now she comes groveling us, asking us to come back. Please, 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 I don't like my group. So that she can actually get a good grade instead of doing all the stuff that they do. That's just me. And also, she's trying to whip me into work. It's like, some days I just want to sit in the podcast room and listen to music. But she's like, a brother cannot get a moment of rest. She's always, write a script. You should go talk to this person. Do this. Go grab her walkie-talkie. Let me sit down. Like, I, I hate her. I, I hate her. We just like to eat. We just, yeah, and like to listen to gossip. Yeah, we just hang out. We just do what we do. We're chilling. <laughs> a host then you're gonna have to learn that in that tiny of a segment you got to learn how to direct and control weren't there yet for Mackenzie to host again because she needed to learn how to be the stronger host to control those things and this is not personal because you know I adore you she's not wrong I'm not the best I'm like really awkward how have y'all stayed together for so long <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on the beef between you and Chloe? I don't really have a problem with her. I just was upset that one day that we argued. I don't have anything against her, really. What is your opinion on Chastity? <laughs> Can this go in there? I feel like we had an argument, and then after the argument, she's kind of been a suck up to me. And. I mean, I get it, because I low-key ate her up in that argument, but no hate to her. Yeah, because I can be louder than you. So Cam almost deleted our footage. It's not in Google Drive. Um, I'm pretty sure Miss Hobbs told me to. But he almost deleted ours without asking us first. No regrets. I'll do it again. Okay. We have it, though, so that's all that matters. Aside from all the fighting, we really are a family unit, and we just absolutely love each other. Okay, that's enough. Good. I cannot believe you made me say that. That's ridiculous. Hey, so we're playing a game, Don't Talk in the Mic, but before we start, what are you today? I'm a madman. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me put on the glasses, because it makes me look crazy. Like you talking in the mic. <laughs> you said before we get started. Okay. Do I look crazy? A little bit. A little bit. What's your name? We still haven't started yet. Oh, Cliff. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. So we're playing a game, Don't Talk on the Mic. Um, before we start, what's your name? Okay, here you go. Hey, Ms. Russian. Hello. Don't speak in the mic and you get a piece of candy. Okay, uh, so, like, what is your name? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Russian. We're playing a game. Don't talk on the mic, and you'll get a piece of candy. What are you today? I'm a hillbilly. Ah, uh, you're not supposed to talk on the mic. You're not supposed to talk on the mic. This is Christian Guzman, and welcome to Christian Sings. Can I just, can I see my microphone? Because it's my segment. This is Spencer Sings. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Spencer Sings, where I'm gonna sing part of a song and the other person has to guess what song it is. What's your name? Brahim. Last name too. Brahim Morley. Tyree Silvero. Andres. Last name? Lavaro. Okay, so you know music pretty well? No. I'm not even gonna hold you. Alright, you say you know a lot of music? 
Maybe. Oh, well, this is this is gonna be pretty bad. Okay. <clears throat> Music. To call you on my cell phone. Late night when I need you, my love. To call me on your cell phone. Hey, you going? The, I, I forgot the rest of that. All right, what's the name of the song? I don't know. To call me on my cell phone. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need me. What you do, ooh, what you do, could've made a move, could've made a move, if I knew I'd be with you, is it too late to pursue, Steve Lacey, Bad Habit? Yes, sir! Ooh, uh, what you do, made a move, could've made a move, if I knew I'd be with you, is it too late to pursue? Alright, alright, you like Spanish music? Yeah. We got a special song for y'all. Compa, que la parece Zamora. Um, that's, um, that's a Peso Bluma song, right? Okay, partly, but what's the name of the song? Ooh. Fiend by Travis Scott. What? And that's the end of Spencer's. Spencer! Oh, crap.